Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for July 15th through the 21st. I'm gonna be taking a look at the person connected to your energy, how you feel about them, how they feel about you, the connection between the two of you. I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. And this is general, so it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, it helps me to pick up on your energy for all future reads. Please remember that time is fluid so this could be something that happened in your past currently in your present or coming up in your future and yes roles can be reversed so take what applies to you the person on your mind your situation and leave the rest now at the end of your reading i will be pulling an oracle message from the angel guide oracle deck to give us some more insight guidance and clarification on your situation so let's go ahead and jump right in the person connected to Scorpio's energy for the week of July 15th through the 21st. Show me how Scorpio feels about them. Wow. This is love is how you feel. Whoa. Oh, you have to make a decision. Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. And then we have the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. You're in love with this person and you feel this past life connection with this person. You share a lot of intimate uh, things with this person. You've shared, you know, your experiences through life with this person, which, you know, sharing those feelings, you can relate to them, but it's making you feel like you need to either walk away from them or you need to walk away from another situation. Um, and, and I, I, feels like love with somebody else where your happiness used to be Scorpio has changed because you're falling in love with somebody else right here. So, you know, I don't know if you're physically in another relationship or you're still energetically holding on to someone, but you're like, I need to walk away from that before I can give myself to this person. That judgment card is telling me that you're really having to make a final decision here on what you want and that things aren't the same as they used to be for you. Something has changed. This person has like, you know, lifted something like you feel like you've come out of your skin a little bit, I guess. Like you're you're rebirthed, you know, uh, revived. You feel different than you did before. And you're not happy in another situation. There used to be love there, but you're like, I want to leave that situation because what I feel for this other person feels amazing. And now it could be a water sign or it could just be a lot of emotions. You have a lot of love you have for somebody else and your energy coming out like you needing to be that person to make the decision what it is you truly want and what you're going to walk away from. So let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you. Oh, they're ready to move fast. Um, this is a shock, surprise. You're very much a surprise for them. And they're ready to take a leap of faith with you. So this is somebody new. Yeah, you're leaving something else behind um, to be with this new person because you're in love with somebody else. So we have the chariot, the tower, the fool, and the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. This new person is all in. They are like super super shocked by you they're so surprised because you know their life was going a certain way and you came along and it's like you pulled the rug beneath their feet which made them want to jump in you know like i want to take this leap of faith with scorpio like i'm all in and wow um and it feels like a a good time like the timing is right this is divine timing and they feel like if they let this moment pass, they'll never get it again. Like they'll, they won't have this opportunity to be with you ever again. So if you want to move with them, they want to move with you is just as fast. Wow. Okay. This is really intense. Also, you two have like this past life connection. You know, you can talk to them about anything. And it feels like you've known them forever. It feels really good. The connection's intense. It's magnifying. Uh, magnifying, what am I trying to say? It's it's like magnetic, um, electrifying. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, the connection between the two of you. Yeah, there's a third party situation. Three of Cups 
Ace of Swords, the Three of Swords, and then the Hangman is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's a third party situation because you no longer want to be in another relationship that you are in because it doesn't make you happy the way this one does. And so this third party situation and having to think about what you want, it does cause you pain to leave somebody else, but at the same time, you want to be happy elsewhere. And you're in limbo. You are in limbo over this of what do I do? Because this was very unexpected. Okay, so let's go ahead and start clarifying. We're going to start with this Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess, the Five of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You're very much in love with this new person. Um, you feel like this is your true love and that your intuition is telling you, you know that your other relationship, your family, this person other person you have built a life with is going to be very disappointed because you have feelings for somebody else whether you've acted upon that or not i see you definitely going in that direction and you know telling this new person you love them or just feeling the intensity of it but um, you might keep it a secret knowing because you don't want to head in that direction but it's hard not to because that knight of cups is there again at the bottom of the deck so you feel this intense love for this new person but that does involve you leaving somebody else behind um let's go ahead and clarify that six of cups Oh man, you feel like this new person really sees you for who you are. They accept you for who you are. You feel very comfortable with them. They make you feel complete. Um, the world card, the six of wands and the page of cups. So Scorpio, you are sharing and exchanging your feelings, um, you know, memories, how you grew up, how they grew up, just different things that you two have in common that's really amazing and you feel very much seen by this person you feel like you are in the spotlight of their love their attention their affection and the king of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck you see yourself like having a very stable life with this person and you feel like you want to share everything you have with them like i want to build a life with this person i really see that i even get that you daydream a little bit in that page of cups you know like looking at that cup and imagining a secure like financial secure life but also a very stable and patient and grounded and loving life like it's passionate it's loving it's complete it just it provides you everything that you want with this new person um let's go ahead and clarify this eight of cups Whoever you are with, you feel is very controlling or has a lot of control over you and that telling this person you're going to leave would be complete chaos, that they cause a lot of drama, that they would freak out, okay? So the Eight of Cups is clarified by the Star, the Seven of Swords, and the Emperor. So you, you're not happy with this current relationship you're in. You're happy with this new person that you feel really gets you. And you have energetically cut ties of love, even though there's a lot of love with that Eight of Cups. You're not looking at that love because you're not feeling fulfilled because your wish is to like just sneak away from this person because they're so controlling and you know they try and just make everything 
be a certain way. Maybe that's, you two just don't mesh well, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And the tower at the bottom of the deck, you're afraid that if you tell this person, like you have to be very strategic with how you handle it. Because if you tell this person, everything can fall apart and explode and they would just like ruin it all. Um, but also they're very controlling. And this person that you're with, that you're not happy with, you feel like they're just they have control of everything, money and all of that. But your hope is that they just let go as well. The more that you become secluded from them, the more that you put up boundaries with them, you're hoping that they see that and that they walk away before you do. But I, I don't see that because if they like controlling you, Scorpio, or they like to have that control, they're not going to give that up. Um, so make a plan. If you're not happy, make a plan. And if this is someone you can't just talk to because it gets that chaotic, things start flying through the room, that tower comes falling down. I mean, it is just like super chaos. Then I would do it whenever like you're on the phone or something um, and not around them if you're not happy, you know? Let's clarify that chariot. Wow, you're everything that this person has manifested. They feel this very powerful connection with you. Things taking off so fast. The chariot is clarified by the king of wands, the seven of wands, and the eight of pentacles. This person wants to move really fast. They really want to pursue you. They'll also stand up for you, protect you. Um, they want to show you that they'll work hard and that they want to give all their time and attention to you. They want to learn more about you. They really want to master how to make you happy and to get what they want with you. And it's not so much like, I just want to get what I want and leave. This person wants to be with you. They really want to put in the time, work, and effort and take that stand with you and really pursue you. Um, they don't want to wait. So they just feel like this is a powerful connection. You both want the same thing. Let's clarify that tower. So you end up telling this person that you have somebody else or they know about it, right? So they're very surprised that there's somebody else, which is making them reflect on, is this really good? Should, am I, you know, getting myself in the middle of a relationship? Because they don't want to be the chaos in a relationship, but, you know, they really like you. We have the three of cups, the seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, and the five of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person does think about the loss that will happen with the person you're leaving behind that, you know, if you leave this person, um, they'll feel left out in the cold, but at the same time, they want you. They feel like you are their blessing, that this was meant to happen. And they're really looking at like how everything happened and the timing that it happened and all of that. Um, that three of cups there though, you know, knowing that there's somebody else, it doesn't necessarily stop them, but they do feel that they're that outside party looking in and just need to be patient and wait. But the moment you say, I'm ready, they're going to jump. So let's go ahead and clarify that full card. Yeah, they're ready to take this leap of faith into a relationship with you. Move in with you, be protective of you. You know, this is somebody who is like, I'm, I'm very serious. So uh, they're very attracted to you. So we have the four of wands, the king of swords, the page of wands. They'll also be that person to go to battle for you. Like, no, if this ex that you don't want to see comes around, I will make sure to say something about it because they don't want this other person that you're leaving behind to interfere. Um, even though they know that it can cause problems, they are that attracted to you. You're um, like temptation to their every part of their body. <laughs> I don't know. You just like, they're very attracted to you. So, you know, they don't want to give up. They want this serious commitment. They want, they feel that you two have this very special bond. They're very committed to seeing where things go between the two of you, but also letting, they're not going to be with you until you make it clear to this other person that you're leaving and walking away, but they're waiting. So let's go ahead and get the outcome between the two of you.
We have the Justice card, the King of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and then the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. When it comes to telling the truth to this other person, you're trying to look at all the different options of how to do so and you feel stuck. You don't know what to do, but you know you have feelings for somebody else. Um, this person wants you to be honest with the other person, but I get that this other person is, is in control of money or supporting you in some way. So you have to handle things the right way. Um, also needing to look at all options of how to move things around so you're not stuck, but whoever this is, and some of you being married and leaving a situation, Scorpio, that you're married to someone. So leaving that person, um, for another option, you feel stuck because you can't just up and leave, um, which is understandable. But like I said, you feel trapped in a situation where you're not happy and you're finding happiness with somebody else. And to make it fair for yourself, for the new person, for the person you're not happy with anymore, I'd say talk to that person you're not happy with anymore and just let them know that it's not working. But like I said, if it's putting you in, in a disadvantage of being physically hurt, mentally controlled, um, you know, just do it a different way where this person can't be around you to make you stay in something you don't want to stay in. So let's go ahead and get an Oracle message for you. We have surrender, which comes out, you know, um, taking a step back, surrendering to, you know, having faith in the situation um, that you will come up with the answers. Surrender to not having so much control over the outcome, but saying, okay, this is what I can control. Everything else that I can't control and I can't make it a certain way that I want it to be, I'm just gonna leave that to God. I'm gonna leave that to the universe. I'm gonna leave that to spirit. And I am gonna focus on what I need to do because the answers will fall into place. Um, and just remember, everything happens for a reason because it's a plan that we're not supposed to know about. And that way we can get insight about it, but sometimes the plan does not line one, two, three, four, five, the way we want it to, you know, the plan might go one to five to three to four, and then to two, you know, um, in a different way, but transformation, things are definitely changing for you. And you're feeling this transformation and you feel like you can surrender to this person. You feel different. You feel good. You feel happy. Um, but you're not happy in this other relationship that you're in Scorpio. So honesty is, key but also making a plan for yourself i do understand this is a very difficult situation when you're with someone that you're not happy with and you've met somebody who really does make you happy so this is what i have for you if it resonates go ahead and hit that like button i will see you in your next reading coming up have a good rest of your day bye